at this point, I suppose I wanted to come back to Winnie Dunn, who's who had the quote at the start. And that's because she developed a model of sensory processing back in 1997. And it's one that greatly influences our work as occupational therapists within our within the service, within disability service with students. But it's also very much underpinning the Trinity Sensory Processing Project. So it's a theoretical framework to help understand how we respond to, to sensory stimuli. So again, through all the sensory systems that Jessica has outlined for us there and how we respond to that. So how we process it and then the behaviors we have in response. So it, de it describes neurological thresholds. So you can see in the in the diagram here that it, it goes from a high neurological threshold down to a low threshold. So if you have a low sensory threshold, any any amount of sensory uh, stimuli can really activate your sensory system. Whereas I suppose if you have a really high threshold, you're looking for brighter colors, stronger taste, lots more movement. You're looking for loads of sensory stimuli to really uh, activate your sensory systems. So it works along that continuum from, from, from high to low. But also there's a continuum in terms of how we respond. So I suppose from very passive strategies up to very active strategies. And then that's where we come into the different quadrants. So we talk about the, the sensory sensitive, sensitivity, that, that being our, our sort of passive strategies. That's if we have a very low threshold for sensory information, we're very sensitive to sensory information. And our, and our real active response to that is, is perhaps to avoid that sensation. So, so if we don't like lots of noise and movement and crowds and, and confined spaces, we might avoid somewhere like, for instance, Grafton Street or something like this through a crowded Grafton Street. Um, whereas other ones in terms of low registration, as you can see in the top left quadrant there, that, that would be that we have a high neurological threshold. So we do need lots of sensory information to be able to, to, to respond to. And that perhaps the, the active strategy response is that we're looking, we're constantly sensory seeking, looking for more uh, sensory uh, information and stimuli through what we do. So it's, this has been a very useful uh, tool for, for ourselves and our practice, but also in terms of helping people to understand the different continuum of how we actually uh, process sensory information. 